Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day four of our second custom mail-in drag race. Without skipping a beat, let's move on right now into our first group. Rob Maverick, Rag and Ricky, AJMGH, and Flip Gambino. Flip Gambino definitely has had some speed records before, and it looks like they might grab one now as they grab that first win. And they almost tie for the fastest time so far. Right now, the fastest time is a 2.53, currently held by RAF, a.k.a. the Races and Fun Vehicle. And now for heat number two. It's already looking very promising for Flip. Going down to the bottom of the hill, they already have half a car's length, and it just grows ever more the further down that lane they go. They grab another win with a 2.55 this time. They definitely have a chance to break that speed record. But the question is, will they? They're already just one race away from filling out another spot in the races for the final round. And it looks like they are going to get it. No competition for Flip Gambino whatsoever. And they are tied for the fastest time so far. We now have two cars that have finished at a 2.53. Flip Gambino and RAF. So now Flip is joining, or at least looking to join, our undefeated racers. And it already is going to happen for sure. And they finish with a 2.53 again. I think RAF was only able to do that once. Whereas Flip Gambino did that twice. And now for our second group. And the second group contains... Chewy Mandingo. Big Poppy, Bolo Brown, and Gaylord Fokker. And as the race begins, it looked like Bolo Brown had a slight lead, but Chewy Mandingo grabs that lead. And they will grab the first win on top of it. And they finish with a 2.6. Anything below that should have you feel confident, but 2.6 is dangerous territory. Now for heat number two... Chewy Mandingo, the current leader, starts out in one of the inside lanes. And I don't think they're actually going to get that second consecutive win. It looked like Bolo Brown actually got it, finishing with a 2.63 here. Let's double check. And I believe that's what happened. This will be the third group so far that has not produced a racer that has won all four times. So far, Graveyard King and Boomershine are the other ones. And Chewy Mandingo is not happy about that, and they did at least grab another win in response. Which other racers weren't quite able to do. So now it's pretty close between Chewy Mandingo and Bolo Brown. If Bolo Brown can finish in front of Chewy, we could have a tiebreaker on our hands, or, depending on how Chewy finishes, they might not move on at all. And it looks like Bolo Brown did actually manage to get that victory. So I believe this will be our first and possibly only tiebreaker in this drag race tournament. Oh no, they're giving it to Chewy because he had an overall faster time. So I guess we'll just move on to the third group then, which has Lone Wolf, Polk County, Chase Family, and Lucky. Let's see if Lucky lives up to that name. So far, they are not, as they are quickly trailing behind, whereas Polk County grabs that first win. I believe it was Polk. Let's double-check to be sure. Yep, it was Polk County. And they finish with a 2.6. So now, if I guess when there is a tie, whoever has the faster time between the two overall will be the one to move on. And now in the second race, Polk County already starts out strong, and they grab a second win. And they finish at 2.6 once again. If they can finish under 2.6, that is a little bit more promising. But if they do move on, and it looks like they might, they have some nasty speed demons that'll be facing them later on. And as a great start to the start of the race by Polk County... And once they grab that lead, they stayed there. 
and three 2.6 finishes in a row. Several racers have gotten awfully close to finishing all four times at the exact time as the previous, but nobody has been able to do it yet, I don't think. Let's see if Polk County can finish at 2.6 yet again. They do have the lead, so it looks like they will be undefeated, but will it be 2.6? It will! That is four 2.6 finishes in a row. Talk about consistency. But now we just have one group left entering this tournament. Let's see who they are. Champagne Poppy, Uncle Elvis, j -Bo, and Heriberto Perez. Now keep in mind, Champagne Poppy is currently our defending champion. They do grab that first win, by the way. But Champagne Poppy, who's very close to taking the speed record right now, has won the last two tournaments that we've hosted, including the first drag race tournament we had. The, they have not lost their tournament in recent memory. And it looks like they're gonna be doing really well in this one. And they finish with a 2.53. We now have three racers, I believe, holding on to the fastest time of 2.53 which I believe is RAF, Flip Gambino, and now Champagne Poppy. And now for the third race, Champagne Poppy is once again out in the lead. Uncle Elvis is relatively close, but close does not get the job done. And now that's two times they finished at a 2.53. They're already moving on. Will they remain undefeated? It's definitely very promising for them. They just have one race left. And then our roster, I believe, will be decided. I mean, our roster is decided at this point. But he's looking to be undefeated, and he is. Our defending champion is moving on, finishing with spectacular times. So everyone will have to try and dethrone Champagne Poppy otherwise known as Blue Line Racing yet again. Thanks so much for watching. See you for the final round.